Hello there, Artless here, and welcome to another Britcom theme tier list. So a few weeks back, I ranked our fave British comedians with very mixed responses, I think, about where I placed our faves. Nevertheless, that is showbiz baby, opinions are opinions. And today we're back ranking British comedy panel shows. That is right, would I lie to you? No, no, this is my honest opinion. <laughs> Get ready for a very controversial debate. So I've created five categories to rank our favourite British panel shows or parlour shows, whatever you'd like to call them. Starting from the top, we've got Bone Apple Teeth, the mwah mwah Bon Appetit, the Perfecto. Could not get any better shows. Bellissimo. It's still amazing, just not up the top. Then we've got The Middle Ground, Wee Wee Sesame. Not today, thanks. I'll probably flick the channel if it comes on, but hey, if it's a rainy day and I've got nothing better to do, I may just stick around. Sorry, bottom of the barrel, leave. Get out. I do not want to watch you, I will not watch you. I would rather watch my own reflection as I do a wee. Right, let us begin. Okay, so first of all, we've got Room 101. Currently hosted by Frank Skinner, I absolutely love room 101. The premise of this show is he gets a bunch of comedians, sits them down and they take turns ranting about something they hate and why it should be locked away in a room forever. I absolutely love this program. Okay, so I'll probably only watch it if one of my fave comedians is on it, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's an incredible idea for a program. There's nothing purer and more connecting and relatable than ranting a bunch of human sh you hate. Bellissimo. Next of all, we've got the Big Fat Quiz. I absolutely love the Big Fat Quiz. You've got to watch it every year. They always have some absolutely incredible guests. It's hosted by the ventriloquist puppet, but you know, we move. It does allow for a fun, um, almost Stockholm syndrome of nostalgia when you hear Jimmy's laugh. I really enjoy this. It's a good reflection on all the good of the bad, and it's just nice to take the piss. I do enjoy the big fat quiz. Bellissimo, I'm sorry, there are just some things that beat it. <laughs> Bake Off, right, so I realize The Great British Bake Off is not a panel show, but I've included this because of the celebrity version. I think it's super precious, super funny. No matter what guests you've got on there, it's always gonna be a good time, especially with Noel Fielding. I can't fault Bake Off, I really can't. It's, I mean, what else? Would, would there's nothing I would rather do than watch my favorite comedians fail at baking. Bone apple teeth, mwah, mwah. splendid, incredible, amazing, marvelous, wonderful, excellent. Now we've got Would I Lie to You? Wilty question mark. I have a special soft spot, a special place in my heart for this program. I've been watching it for as long as I can remember. It's got three of my favourite people on it every week. Rob Brydon, Lee Mack, David Mitchell. You couldn't think of better hosts for this show. I realised there was another dude before Rob Brydon. We don't talk about him. I'm sorry it wasn't as good. But this truly is a god tier 1010 show. No matter who you've got on, it's almost all always funny and you know even if the guests are a bit of a dead loss you've still got the amazing hosts so bone apple tea thank you and good night Right, next up we've got Pointless Celebrity Version. Now, I don't think this is that much of a controversial opinion, but I don't really like Pointless that much. It's just not for me. I love Richard Oseman and the other guy I can't remember the name of, but it's just, it's just not something I would really choose to watch in my free time. If it's on, I might, especially if it's got like James A. Caster or someone on, but it's just not for me. I'm sorry, not today, thanks. I apologize. Hypothetical. Okay, this one is going to be very highly controversial. I love James A. Caster. I think Josh Widdicombe is great. They always have brilliant guests on, but it's not my absolute favorite show. I can't lie. I love James A. Caster beyond belief. If you've seen my tier list video about Britcom faves, you'll know that. However, I feel like sometimes it's a bit hit and miss when it comes to the actual 
part of the show, I guess. When people are explaining their reasoning behind their hypothetical, sometimes I just get a bit bored. Nevertheless, I do enjoy certain funny moments that I watch, and I I think it's one of the best comedian Dave shows around. <laughs> um, so we'll put it in Wee Wee Sesame. I'm sorry, James, it does break my heart to not give you a bone apple teeth. 8 out of 10 cats. I think 8 out of 10 cats is very funny. It's kind of like Mock the Week, which we'll get to. I do really enjoy the show. I think it's pretty funny. I haven't watched it in a while. I don't think I've watched it actually since Sean and John were kicked off. I need to start watching it again. And why did I start? Stop. Bellissima. It deserves it. Jimmy is everywhere, isn't he? Hey, J Jimmy! Jimmy! Jimmy, take a, take a break. Take a weekend off. Take a weekend off, you know? But, but hey. Pay your tax. Next of all, we have Taskmaster. Another controversial opinion here. I don't stand Taskmaster. I do think it's really funny. I do. And I've been watching it more and more lately and I'm getting more behind it. But I think it really depends on who's on. There are certain comedians I just don't want to see that much of. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a really amazing concept. Alex Horn really pulled it out of the bag with this one. I do really enjoy it, but it's not god tier. Bellissimo. Now we have A League of Our Own. How do I feel about A League of Our Own? I don't. I'm sorry. Look, it was cool when One Direction were on that time, but apart from that, I wouldn't really watch it. Leave, get out. I'm sorry. Actually, no, no, no. That's too harsh. I might do. It's not completely in the bin. One that is completely in the bin, though, is QI. It's short for quite interesting. To be honest, it's just not for me. I find it quite boring. I don't like the lady that hosts it. It wasn't even that much better when Stephen Fry was hosting it. Leave, get out. It's time it finished. Another one in the bin is Would I Lie to You. UK only got one season of this. I know it's on in America a lot. I used to really like it. I used to think it was so funny. But as I've gotten older and had more conscious thoughts, I just watch it and I don't laugh at all. So leave, get out, you know, close the door on your way out. I don't want to see you on the screen again. Mock the week. I've actually come to love Mock the Week lately. To be honest, I wasn't a fan back in the day. I didn't really enjoy it because I don't really like current affairs. But lately, I've been really getting into it. I've started watching Reese James a lot more. So if he's on there, I love to tune in. Um, same with James A. Caster, Ed Gamble are on there, Tom Allen, Ellie Taylor. Bellissima. Now last, but certainly and incredibly not least, we have 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. My favourite panel show of all time. I cannot think of one show on here that I would rather watch than 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. I started watching it because I loved John Richardson. I kept watching it because I loved Sean Locke. I somehow managed to keep watching it despite Jimmy's laugh. But uh, just, there's just something so magical about watching your favourite comedians fail at the same educational tasks as you. It really connects your souls. I'm actually quite good at the maths part, but don't tell me about anagrams. I do not understand them. I could watch this show till the cows come home, and I do watch it until the cows come home. I would love to go on there one day, please. Hopefully one day I will I will be successful enough that I can go on a of 10 casters countdown, even if it's out of pity. I'll take it. But there you are, that is my ranking of Britcom panel shows. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you agree with my placements. If you do or if you don't, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Feel free to tell me how you would rank it. But that is all for this week. I will see you next week. I have been Artless. Goodbye.